my name is Tammy Frank, and I am the Senior E-Commerce Specialist here at Rampart Supply. Call or email me if you'd like to schedule a demo or training session with you or your employees. In this video, we will go over account management, which allows you to do things like change the ship to address, manage your downloads, change your passwords, and set defaults in personal settings. Account management is accessed by clicking My Account in the top right. We will start with the personal settings. This is where you can set defaults for certain things within the site. Let's jump right into it. Express checkout settings. If the account you were associated with has more than one ship to address, and you would rather not be prompted every time you log in to select one, especially if you always select the same one, you can set it as a default here and you'll never be prompted at login again. You can always change this after logging in if you ever need to by clicking change in the header or by coming back here to account management and selecting change ship to. Doing either of these will apply only to the current order. The default set in personal settings will still be set for future logins. You may select a default ship via here as well. If you don't select a personal default, the global default is e quick call. So if that's your preferred ship via, there's no need to set it here. But if you want to always default to e rampart delivery, you may select it here. To save one more step in the login process, you can also select your default shipping branch so you will not be prompted every time you log in. Just like the ship two, this can be changed for a single order at a time by clicking change next to the shipping branch in the header from any screen. For the default payment type, the terminology here is a little misleading. Anytime you place an order on rampartsupply.com, we will use your standard payment method, whether that is COD or using your standard credit terms. If you select bill to account here, this will set the default of submit order on the checkout page. Obviously, if you ever do want to submit for bid only, you always have the option of selecting that instead during checkout. If you have specific shipping instructions you would like to always show up on your online orders, you can set them here. Please note that this field will only display the first 30 characters entered on the first line in our system. This field will allow you to enter more than that though, so keep that in mind. By default, you will receive emails for order confirmations and abandoned carts. If you would rather not receive one or both of these emails, you can turn them off here. An abandoned cart email is triggered after your cart has been sitting idle with products in it for three days. Make sure to click Save Settings after making any changes. User Management. This will only display if you are a super user. Only owners or those designated by an owner are set up as a super user. If you are a super user, you have the ability to add, remove, or edit web users for your company and user management is where you do that. When you click into user management, any users already set up will appear. If a user is no longer with the company, you can remove them by clicking remove next to the user's name. To edit an existing user, click edit next to that user. You are able to edit everything about this user, including their name, job title, email address, phone number, user ID, you can send a password reset email and change all of the access they may or may not have. You can even designate someone else as a super user, or you can disable their access if you don't want to completely delete the user. And you can give or remove access to various ship tos in the system. Once all of the desired changes have been made, click on update to save them. Add a new user by clicking Add New User just above the user list. You will see all of the same fields as Edit User and they will all need to be set, including the password. There is no automatic email that is sent when a user is set up and they will not be prompted to change this password when they log in. Change Password. This is where you will go if you want to change your own password. Enter your current password first. This attempts to ensure it is actually you changing the password. Then enter the new password twice. This ensures you do not make any typos when entering the new password.
Edit Profile. This is where you will go if you want to edit your own information, like your name, email address, phone number, or shipping address. Manage file downloads. If you have downloaded anything, like a product group or a saved cart, you can find those downloads under Manage File Downloads. Any downloads will appear here if you ever need to re-download them. If you'd like to remove a download, click on the checkbox in the Delete column, then click the Delete column heading. Manage ship tos For customers with a whole lot of ship tos or even if you just have a couple, you can go into Manage ship tos and set a display name to make them easier to identify when switching between ship tos This display will only show on the website. Make sure to click Update to save any changes. Finally, as mentioned earlier, you can change your ship to address for the current order by clicking on Change Ship To and then selecting the new desired ship to. However, you can also do this in the header at any time from any page by clicking Change next to the ship to.